Hey guys, in talking about hearing the voice of God, we also have to talk about timing. Now, uh, whenever you think about timing, think about um, all of the times in the Bible where, you know, like Joseph with his coat of many colors, right, and his love, but then he he hears from the Lord and he sees all of his brothers coming and bowing before him and all this stuff, so he shares it all with his brothers immediately, and they throw him in a pit and then sell him in slavery. You know, and now that ended up perpetuating getting him to a point where that dream came to fruition. But there's something to it where all of a sudden timing, whenever we don't like the timing or, or we share something too early or, you know, we're, we're in, we just kind of close ourselves off. Whenever you share something with other people with, you know, like, hey, this is what God said and this is you, you acting on it, you presuming that you know all of it, then all of a sudden, you know, you, you close off the door. To open conversation. It would be like if me and my wife were having a discussion and she said, well, I didn't like the way that such and such said something to me. And then I storm out the door and I go and I talk to such and such before I give her the opportunity to say, but we just had a misunderstanding because I thought they were saying this and that, you know, it could have been a funny story. It could have been something completely different than what I expected. And then a lot of times whenever we think that we hear all the things that God has said and we understand it all, then we all of a sudden, you know, try to do God's work for him. Anything that God tells you, he is going to confirm. So whenever you look at, you know, like Abraham, right? Abraham knew that his descendants was going to be, you know, as much as the the stars in the sky, much as the sand on the on the shore, right? And guess what? He decided he was going to try to do it himself because he was so sure of it. God's going to complete the word in you. Don't do not do like Abraham and create an Ishmael because you couldn't wait for Isaac. When God says something to you, there's a perfect timing for that word to be fulfilled. So look for that perfect timing. Ask God when that timing is. Thanks for taking a minute.